So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Colouring Arts and Crafts. So I just thought I would do a bit of a haul of these couple of special edition sets that I've gotten recently. Obviously the Cassandra Clare ones aren't finished. There was also an issue with one of the Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu ones being sent without the stamping on it. So um, um, one of these does come without the stamped signature like they were saying the other I've also got so basically it's a set of fairy loot editions and a set of Illuminacrate editions that I've received today so the Illuminacrate editions are the Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu I think it is and they don't have sprayed edges but they sort of got this reflective cover to them and from what I know um this first book is the only one in in hardcover or I'm not sure if it's the only one in hardcover or the only one you're able to get with this actual cover edition but it's basically exclusive to Illuminacrate and it doesn't have anything special under the dust jacket however um what they were offering was basically um, and I'll just shift these for a minute. Um, basically what they were offering with um, these editions was if you buy the first one, you can add on the second book in the set um, for free shipping, basically. Um, so I added on the second book in the set. I do have the first in paperback somewhere, but I decided I kind of wanted to get the hardcover set if I could. So this set is... Um, to do with Ag Magnus and Magnus Bean and Alec. Hang on. Um, I'm just going to try removing this from the iPad cover because it's kind of awkward on my hand and wrist. So excuse me for that. Um, so what we've got here is The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu and The Lost Book of White by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. And I think there's going to be another book or two, I'm not sure how many in this series. But, um, so the first book says, All Magnus Bane wanted was a vacation. A lavish trip across Europe with Alec Lutwood, the shadow hunter who, against all odds, is finally his boyfriend. It doesn't seem like too much for the centuries-old high warlock to ask for. But no sooner have they settled in Paris than an old friend arrives with news about a demon-worshipping cult called the Crimson Hand that is bent on causing chaos around the world. A cult that was apparently founded by Magnus himself, years ago, as a joke. Now Magnus and Alec must race across Europe to track down the Crimson Hand and its elusive new leader before the cult can cause any more damage. As their quest for answers becomes increasingly dire, Magnus and Alec have to trust each other more than ever, even if it means revealing the secrets they've both been keeping. The first book in the Elder, Eldest Curses series from number one New York Best New York Times bestselling author Cassandra Clare and award-winning science fiction author Wesley Chu. The Red Scrolls of Magic is a fast-paced adventure that offers a fresh look at the world of shadow hunt of the Shadow Hunters. So I do have a review for the first one there. I did read it um, when I was briefly reading the others, but I've got to go back and finish reading all the City of Bones and blah 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 to get through those reviews. But obviously, this is making it harder to do right now like it's numb tingly and a lot of pain a lot of the time which is why I haven't been doing a lot of the reading and on top of that all the other stuff like stomach problems and everything like that and yeah so I've had a lot going on and I basically haven't been doing as much as I want to but I still hope to get back to it as time goes and then the second book we've got here is The Lost Book of White, of the White by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. And this is the second book in the Alec Lightwood and Magnus Bane series. So this says, Enter the breathtaking world of the Shadowhunters. Was that Ragnar Fell? Alec looked stunned. With Shin Yon Jung, he had seen old photos of Ragnar among Magnus's belongings, though they had never met. That's exactly who it was, Magnus said into the silence. Alec crossed the room and crouched down to retrieve the arrow and the scrap of cloth that had pinned to the floor. When he looked up at Magnus, his expression was sombre. But Ragnar fell as dead. 
No, said Magnus. He shook his head, suddenly exhausted. Ragnar lives. And inside it says, Life is good for Magnus Bane and Alec Lightwood. They're finally living together. Their warlock son, Max, is learning to walk, and the streets of New York are peaceful and quiet. As much as they ever were, anyway. Until the night the two old acquaintances break in and steal the powerful Book of White. Of the White. Stabbing Magnus with a strange magical weapon in the process. Now Magnus and Alec will have to drop everything to get the book back. They need to follow the thieves to Shanghai, call some backup, and they need a babysitter. In Shanghai, they learn that a much darker threat awaits them. Magnus' magic is growing unstable, and if they can't stop the demons flooding into the city, they might have to follow them way back to the source, to the very realm of the dead. Can they stop the threat to the world? Hang on. Can they stop the threat to the world? Yeah, that's it. So this is the High Warlock and Shadow Hunter, Alex Lightwood. So I'll just show you inside too. Um, so inside this one, whoops, I'm hooking my sleeve on it, aren't I? So this is the stamp signature of Cassandra Clare. And I've actually um, got the Chain of Gold edition from Illumina Crate. And the Chain of Gold edition from Litjoy Crate. But I've decided I'm going to pass on getting the next Litjoy Crate version. Just because of the fact that basically my Litjoy Crate version for the first one is pretty much unusable. It's still stuck in the slip, sticks in the slip case and glued in the slip case and blah, blah, blah. And it's like I can't, I can't even consider looking at uh, trading it on or selling it because it does stick in the slip case. So it's like... I'm sort of not sure what to do about it because I really like it and I enjoy it, but I've decided I'm going, I think I'm going to go with the, possibly the Illumina Crate edition only um, when they release that because for me personally, I don't feel like I can, I want to risk that again with the slipcase because for me, each time I have to pull it out, it damages the spine slightly, blah, 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 blah. And I don't feel like that's right to sort of be able to try and sell that or pass it on or trade it or anything like that because you can't even use it basically because you spend more time trying to get it out of the box and each time it damages it slightly more and it's like there's not really any point to it, unfortunately. So I've kind of decided I'm going to be passing on the next Elena Crate edition basically. Um, no, not the Limnocrate. I'm going to be passing on the next Litjoy um, Chain of Gold Book 2 edition. And I'm just going to go with the Illuminacrate edition that I got for Chain of Gold Book 2, I'm thinking. So, yeah, that's sort of a decision I've made. But this one here too, this one is the one that was actually missing Cassandra Clare's signature. And from what I know, I looked on their website, they said they don't need to be let known. They'll contact people once they try to sort once they sort something out. Um, this one also, I just remembered from what I did know, it came with um, an exclusive undercover dust jacket in case you wanted to match it with book one and just get the book two of the eldest curses. So it came with an exclusive dust jacket to match book one, which is awesome. It's actually quite pretty, but I think I like the new dust jackets more. <laughs> Just because I feel they go a bit more with the theme of some of the other Cassandra Clare books. But yeah, I'm very happy to have these. And yeah, I'm hoping Illumina Crate will do a second edition of Chain of Gold. But I guess we will wait and see kind of thing because... Right now, yeah, I've just decided, like, I saw some people are paying $120 Australian plus for just the the Lit Choice slipcase edition, and it's like, I paid $80 plus the last time, and it's like, I just, well, I don't have the money for that currently, but also, if it's going to be like the last one, I don't want to take the risk, because I just can't use the last one at all, and I was hoping to. And I was so excited because it came with an actual signed book plate of Cassandra Clare's and everything like that. And 
yeah, it's basically unusable every time I try to pull it out or damage it more, as I said. So I guess I decided I didn't want to risk that again with the next one. So, yeah, um, we'll get there eventually anyway, I'm sure. But it's kind of... Oh, the cover's a little creased. I just discovered that. I'll have a look at it once we get to it. But this is, I couldn't actually find my editions. They've been buried of Empire of Gold in the normal editions to show you the comparison between Kingdom of Copper and City of Brass and that Fairy Lead editions to the normal editions. So <laughs> we're just going to do the Fairy Lead editions, basically show the Fairy Lead editions, exclusive editions. So I've only just received these today, but these come with sprayed edges as well. Um, oops, sprayed edges. The dust jackets have been exclusively changed, so we got more of a grey on the door now instead of the colour door. And we got these exclusive sprayed edges, stencil sprayed edges, and sprayed blue edges on the bottom, which is awesome because it means it's not just the stencil and then the white. So yeah, it's sort of this blacky colour, oh, grey black colour now instead of the, the white inside. Um, let's see, can we show this part of the way? So this is our undercover dust jacket. It's artwork by Icandra with things. So exciting to have the exclusive artwork underneath as well. And inside we've got exclusive end papers with our author signature. And I think that's the main changes. I can't remember if there's anything else. But they did end up offering, they were able to get the second set as a signed set instead of an unsigned set. So that was so exciting. I was so excited about that fact and I really do love these series but I'm still finishing book three because my hand and wrist got too bad to continue it for now so I can't wait till I can get back to it but it's just at the moment um well yeah it has to I'm hoping I can try my new smart crutches things and that they can help improve my hand and wrist and then I can get back to Hopefully doing some little bits of art and that over time as it improves kind of thing, I'm hoping. Because I'm certain last time those crutches did help. So, yeah, something to work on anyway. And the next one we got here is The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. And this one's different too in the fact the coppery goldy bits are more greens than that now with the black. And we've got our stencil sprayed edges with the green which is awesome and the top and bottom is is that green and I really really love these books there are reviews for the first two up on my youtube channel um we've got our exclusive end papers again and then we've also got our exclusive undercover duck duck undercover duck the undercover dust jacket Mine has gotten a little creased, but just looking at that, looks like they've tried to flatten it out again. But yeah, I'm guessing this is something to do with Nahiri's chambers or hospital or something. Yeah, unfortunately, mine's got a couple of little creases in it that came in it, but yeah, um, not really much I can do about it, unfortunately. I'm guessing it's just the way it's come out from the printing houses. And I'll read out the descriptions in a minute because I really do love this Steve Bad series and I can't recommend it enough. It's I'm so excited to have a full sign set of this series. Um, sorry, I just need to swap because it's killing my hand and wrist. 
And now I've got the itches, haven't I? Good one. <laughs> I cannot win. I cannot. So, basically, very similar. Um, so awesome to have signed editions. And yeah, I really can't recommend this series enough. I'm so glad that I... I got to read it finally because it is amazing. Yeah, I don't have the Goldsboro Books editions, but I did manage to get the Fairy Loot edition, which is awesome. And then the next one we've got here is The Empire of Gold. This was the full trilogy that came together. So, um, again, we've got our black door, blacky grey sort of door instead of our coloured door. And instead of our goldy sort of more leaf tones, we've got like the more the purpley sort of colour. And this is the one that I'm still currently reading. I'm about 100 pages in, but I had to put it up briefly because of my hand and wrist has been so bad that I can't do it. Like, it was nice. I, I'm reading it for HarperCollins Australia, but, yeah, just unfortunately. Yeah, it's very frustrating and annoying that I can't do it because I love doing it. And my reading and my art and everything is very important to me. Same with my jigsaw puzzles and that sort of thing. But it's very frustrating that till I can get my hand and wrist better. And I've basically been told by the orthopedic doctor, well, there's, there's nothing she can, she knows there's nothing she can do to help it. So I'm hoping it'll improve if I can try these new crutches that take the weight for the whole, um, all the way up to the elbow and stuff like that, that maybe. And once I get my ankle done, that then... Maybe it'll get better enough that I'll be able to get back to doing more of those things again because it. I really, really want to get back to it. I miss it so much. So we've got our exclusive end papers again with our signature. And then in here, I'm pretty certain this one is Dara. I'm pretty certain it's Dara. Just buy the silver bow and that sort of thing. And we've got this gorgeous artwork. Oh, for the undercover dust jacket. Which is so exciting. But yeah, I just can't wait till the day when I can get back to all these things because I'm... I'm missing it so much and yeah, I just, I really look forward to it. So I'll just read out, I'll have a quick look at our spines together quickly. Hang on, excuse me, I just, this is very awkward to turn that one's overhanging a bit. It might be part why it's creased, I don't know. Um, but there are little bits of curves in there. I'm not sure what's wrong, but let's just see if they will sit up by themselves. Hang on. No, that's not going to work. Okay. That's kind of the wrong way, I guess, but... I would normally have it around the other way. Um, I guess I can swap that quickly so that you can see it both ways. And the third book is much thicker than the other two. Although these two seem to be a lot thicker in the original editions. Um, same for this one was a lot thicker in the original edition from what I remember, but yeah, um, and you can see our bottom sprayed edges there together. And then at the side here, you sort of see 
This is our um, stencil sprayed edges together. So I'm just recording this on my bed as I'm able. And now I'll give a quick description of the storyline or read, read the inside dust jacket covers. So this says, The streets of 18th century Cairo are unforgiving, even for the most talented of thieves, tricksters and con artists. Among the bustling markets and the city's outcasts, e uh, hang on, among the bustling markets, the city's outcasts eke out a living swindling rich Ottoman nobles and trading foreign invaders a lot and foreign invaders alike. But alongside this new world, the old stories linger, tales of dingin and spirits, of cities hidden among the swirling sands of the desert, full of enchantment, desire and riches, where magic pours down every street hanging in the air like dust. Many wish their lives could be filled with such wonder. But not Nahiri. She knows the trades she uses to get by are just tricks and sleights of hand. There's nothing magical about them. She only wishes to one day leave Cairo. But as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. So that's City of Brass. Then we got City of Copper, which says, In Devabad, where Dinjin can summon flames with the snap of their fingers, where rivers run deep with ancient magic, and blood can be as dangerous as any spell. A clever con artist from Cairo will alter the fate of the kingdom. Uh, will alter the fate of a kingdom. Sorry. I got the itches again. Will alter the fate of a kingdom. And I'm sort of shaking as well because my hand and wrist is really aching and that. So, Nahiri's life changed forever when she accidentally summoned Dara, a formidable, mysterious dingin, during one of her schemes. Thrust into the dazzling royal co court of Divabad, she needed all her grifter instincts to survive. Now as Nahiri embraces her heritage and her power, she must forge a new path. Exiled for daring to defy his father, Ali is adrift on the unforgiving sands of his, of his ancestral land, hunted by assassins and forced to rely on frightening new abilities that threaten to reveal a terrible family secret. As a new century approaches and the Dinjin gather within Divabad's brass walls to celebrate, a power in the desolate north will bring a storm of fire straight to the city's gates. And then our third book here, which is Empire of Gold, says Divabad has fallen. After a brutal conquest stripped the city of its magic, Nahid leader Banu Man Manazar and her resurrected commander Dara must try to repair their fraying alliance and stabilise a fractious warring people. But the death of his people and loss of his beloved Nahiri have unleashed the worst demons of Dara's dark past. To vanquish them, he must face some ugly truths about his history and put himself at the mercy of those he once considered enemies. Having narrowly escaped their murderous families and Divabad's deadly politics, Nahiri and Ali, now safe in Cairo, face difficult choices of their own. Though Nahiri is finding peace in the rhythms of her old home, she is haunted by the knowledge that the loved ones she left behind and the people who considered her a saviour are at the mercy of a new tyrant. Ali, too, cannot help but look back and is determined to return to rescue his city and the family that remains. As peace grows more elusive and old players return, Nahiri, Ali and Dara come to understand that in order to remake the world, they may need to fight those they once loved and take a stand for those they once hurt. So yeah, definitely recommend picking up this series. I can't wait till I can get my hand and wrist a lot better so that I can get back to my reading and my art and colouring and all of that stuff because I have been missing it a lot. Um, yeah, the one time I did try to do my art, I ended up in tears because it hurt so much and it's like all I want to do is do some art or colouring and work on some more videos for my YouTube channel and some more puzzles for the YouTube stuff and keep working on all of those things. And it's like, yeah, it's hard at the moment, but I'm hoping to take some steps that will possibly try and help to improve that for the future and allow me to get back to things, fingers crossed, because that's what I really want to do with my life and what's important to me. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this um, bit of a haul anyway of my Illuminacrate Red Scrolls of Magic books and the City of Brass series from Fairy Loot. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you and I will see you later. Bye.